All right, Kotaku, usually when we unbox things for you, we're up on our roof, but it is late Monday evening. We're a couple of weeks out from both Election Day and the release of Halo 4, and Microsoft sent us stuff early. Not as early as the Pirates got Halo 4, but kind of early anyway. We have the $400, I guess $399.99 or whatever, special edition of Halo 4. We're gonna unbox this for you. Jason said that this is the cooler side here. That's Jason, by the way, that's not Jason. <laughs> so this is the cooler side. It is. But Tina is gonna be unboxing $400 Halo 4. And Jason gets the $100 limited edition of Halo 4. Special version, instead of the $60, just the game. It's got a whole bunch of things. So Jason, tear into that and see what oh, we got. You. So Tina, you want to go first? Yeah, it looks yeah. Like so, so Tina, what do you got there? Oh, look at this. This is very exciting power cables and cool nice. cables. We're gonna, I'm going to take this out because this thing has a sound effect. So yes, so we're actually going to plug it in. Right. Hey, low sound effect? Yes. Does it just scream, fragged? <laughs> um, or worse things. But yes. This is a family video. Yeah, I wanted to stay appropriate. Well, that looks like a power cord. It is a power cord. Good job. A plus, gold star. Thanks. Well, yeah, we're not going to be plugging it in. We're not going to be showing you the game. Spoiler right there. Yeah. I mean, I thought that Kotaku might want to see what the official brand yeah, 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 Halo yeah. for. I think Tina yeah. got a console. For this us. is okay. kind of more exciting, only by a little bit. Um, I initially thought that was kind of too much, but it's very Halo, and you can okay, see it's yeah. actually see-through too. Oh yeah. I think I think uh -oh. that one stays. Oh there. No, there cool. So there you go. You can see all the design. And it's uh, transparent on the top and bottom. Oh, wait, can cool. maybe show a little more slowly? So that almost looks like the new PlayStation 3 with that little... Uh, are, you, are you getting that? No. Cameraman is getting the transparency. Let me give you the other side for transparency as well. You're not seeing that far into it. But you can see a little bit, and then it gets kind of cloudy in the back. And that's where it's nifty. Yeah. And I can see my reflection. Either that or there's a picture of me on the bottom of the console. One of the two. <laughs> and to match with the controller, it looks a lot nicer than it does on the box, actually. I like it when it's out. So same Didn't we just, we just did a thing on transparent. Yeah, the transparent, transparent. Wii U. Yeah, yeah, the transparent does not actually yeah. exist. It only Transparency is coming back. Yeah. So, Tina, the theory <laughs> is that it's going to make an, a halo noise? Yeah. Well, listen to this. Maybe a little bit. I don't like your kick to me. And it's not a it's not a green light, it's a blue light. Yeah. Which so can I want can this thing red ring? That's the question. Maybe it purple rings when it well, goes. Well they disabled the red ring allegedly from oh, the no. Sims, so it's like right. disabled. It pretty much just part of history. Okay. Yes. Alright, silence please. That's pretty cool. Although I, I still like the Star Wars one better. But this sounds like something out of Star Wars. And the controller is supposed to light up blue as well. We it sounds like your console is breaking. Okay, so when I turn this on, it should be a blue LED. We haven't actually synced this thing yet, so it probably won't turn on the 360, but you can see the blue light. And it kind of flashes through since it's all transparent here. So this is the $100 limited edition. It kind of looks like a, an NES container almost, and you kind of pull it out of the sleeve. And then let's see if I can open this. Okay, cool. And then it's this box, and inside, you can get... It looks like what we have Possibly here not. is an access code for uh, Halo 4 Forward Unto Dawn, which is the Halo TV movie miniseries type thing that it looks like with this code you can sure. get on your... I don't think they can see it. No, you can't see the code, Oh, no, right? I'm just going to take it, take it from you to let oh, you move on to your okay. next one. Right. <laughs> very sensitive I thought I was yeah. screwing up again. Okay, this is an Xbox customer support sleeve. Okay. Um, that this is a 14-day Xbox Live Gold trial for if you are one of the seven people on Earth who is buying Halo without Xbox Gold already. Um, here we have these Xbox game add-on and marketplace downloads. Uh, some map packs, some weapon skins, some avatar armor, all that jazz. And that's it for this packet. And here, oh, this is a highly visual... Okay, so this is... Uh, the armor schematic. The armor schematic for Spartan Gabriel Thorne, um, who I'm sure is somebody important. And yeah, some stuff that I'm not going to show you for too long because you don't want to sit there and read that. Um, you can pause the video to read it. No, I don't think so. It's the magic of the internet. Who's going to do that? 
Um, and then here we have a diary. Is that what this is? No, well, it's like an instruction manual and also a diary. What does it say in there? Something official? It's probably like a Spartan uh, Well, well they, Spartan there should blog. be a combat deck score sheet, a mission brief pouch, and a secret letter. Oh, this must be the secret letter. I think that might be That must secret be the secret letter. letter. Okay. So, this is the secret letter. You can see it. I'm not going to bother reading this out loud to you. And then, let's see. It opens up. And this is more more messages, more spoilerific stuff. And what is this? Well, that's um, your score sheet. War there. game score sheet. Combat deck score sheet. But this already has scores on it. This looks like it's just some random match that they that they sent with us. Maybe it's it's part of this uh, little alternate reality game here. All right. So this is like the modern equivalent of the cloth map. Yes. And then the game case. Except it costs a hundred dollars instead of the normal price of the game. Not cloth. It's, it's <laughs> it's fine. It's not cloth. Fine, fine goods. And here we have. This is actually a very cool case uh, for the game for the two discs of the game. It's glossy and shiny, and reflective, and it's a steel book on it, and. Nice uh, I think that's it. So there we go. We didn't take you to the roof this time, but we did unbox two things in one video. That's how generous we were. Halo 4, the $400, uh, 360, which by the way will come with the game. Microsoft PR people want me to emphasize that. Don't worry, there will be a game in there with this when you get it, if you, if you splurge. And also it's going to have some download code for some other unannounced uh, content of some sort, I think. And then um, over here we had the $100, a fancy white case this is, is a nice case. Tina was right about that. Um, and other things too, Tina. You were right about other things. Thank you. But the $100 <laughs> limited edition with all, all that you see here. Well, not this. <laughs> not this. But all this kind of modern day cloth map accoutrement for Halo 4. So, hope you like that. The game comes out November 6th. Six. Six. Election day. Election day. Yeah. So vote, maybe, by Halo 4. Maybe. Or sit at home and play Halo 4. No, people should vote. That'd be good. Vote. Maybe something. Vote. Vote.